Right now on 12 on Health, checking on baby before birth. Key test every mom-to-be needs to know about. Also, new technology to boost your circulation and put your best foot forward. And the local man gives away a kidney out of the goodness of his heart. This is 12 on Health with Gillian Neff. Hello everyone, welcome to this edition of 12 on Health. You're watching News 12 Connecticut, as local as local news gets. Now many people with diabetes experience poor circulation and sensitivity in their feet. Now this can lead to painful ulcers and even amputation. However, there's a new high-tech treatment called Microvaz designed to help turn the circulation problem around. And here to show us how it works is podiatrist Dr. Pedram Hendezada. Dr. Hendezada comes to us from Associated Podiatrists of Fairfield and he's joined by patient John Condon. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having us. And I should point out that this is the first time that John is getting this treatment. So we get we get your actual reaction first time out. You're a guinea pig for us. <laughs> is that okay? It sure is. <laughs> Go ahead and show us how it works. Well, basically the way the machine works is it allows for electric stimulation to the patient's muscles. Okay. And this is a biphasic system. It's a patented system which allows electric current to go through these pads. We usually have them up on the thighs the calf, ankle, and the foot, okay. and allows for muscle contraction. As I turn this up, John's muscles will start contracting. And as they contract, it allows for blood flow down to the foot. Patients with diabetes, patients with poor circulation would benefit from this mm -hmm. um, because it helps improve circulation, helps bring nutrients and oxygen back into the tissues. Oh, that makes sense. John, what are you feeling as it goes? Okay, as he turns it up, right now I'm not feeling anything, but he'll turn it up a little. Ah, right. there it is. Whoa. There you can see his muscles contracting. Yeah. And that just tingles. It doesn't hurt. No. And doctor, is this like actually, would it be the same if he was out at a gym working out with these muscles? It's similar to that. Um, this is meant for more patients that uh, are not ambulatory. They can't walk that far. Mm -hmm. Patients that are with walkers, with crutches, they, they can't walk more than 100, 200 yards without having pain. So this helps improve the circulation without having to get up and walk. And that is the key, getting that blood moving. Right. Tell us about, um, it's not just diabetes where people run into circulation issues, is it? No, patients with high cholesterol, smokers, uh, patients that just have poor circulation just from genetics. And we have some signs that you gave us of poor circulation people can keep an eye out for. If their feet are cold all the time? Right, a lot of patients with poor circulation are not getting enough uh, temperature, heat. The body's uh, response to that is to help increase circulation, but they can't because their blood vessels are thinned out. Okay, but if people have cold feet often, they shouldn't panic. It's, there are other signs to combine, like the wounds that won't heal. Correct. And, you know, how, how soon should a wound heal before you're worried? Uh, depending on the size of the wound, if it's just a cut or a scrape, it should be a few days. Mm -hmm. If it's a larger cut, it may take a week. If it takes longer than a week, you should certainly contact your physician, okay. podiatrist. And tell us more about how this is working, how you know it's helping the patient. Um, it's more patient feedback. The patients usually get two to three treatments a week. The mm -hmm. treatments last about 40 to 45 minutes. They tell us after the third or fourth session that they're feeling less pain, better circulation. A lot of the swelling goes down because the muscles are pumping and it gets rid of that edema. Oh. Um, the circulatory system is a closed system and blood is just continually going from the heart to the feet, you know, back up through the veins. And if there's blockages, it's, it's like a traffic jam, okay, on I-95. Everything's slowed down. What this does is increase the speed of the blood flow. Okay. The quicker the things move, the more oxygen and nutrients we can get down to the foot. So it's pushing the blood through. And are you sending currents individually, or is it all at once going up? Um, it is individual in different locations, but it is simultaneous. So if you send one to his foot... Will the muscles down there contract separately? They're contracting as well, yes. Is, and that's going on right now? Right. That oh, is. a lot of it you can't even see. It's only the heavy, when you turn it way up, when that the contractions right. are quite visible yep. to us. Right. Oh, that's interesting. I would imagine it feels kind of good. It does. Is it like, yeah. almost like a massage of some sort? Like that. It's like, uh, it's like a rapid massage that pulses on and off. You know, this strikes me as similar to what they put on me in the hospital after I had my baby to avoid blood clots in my legs. Right. Is it? 
Uh, that's a device that basically inflates to prevent blood blood clots. Right. Um, is that moving the blood similarly? That is moving the blood similarly. This gets in deeper though. This gets into the deep tissues. That's more on the surface. Oh, I see. So this is much more deep, working deeper. Correct. And um, what is the biggest problem with diabetes patients um, in terms of circulation? Are they not managing it well? Um, we have a lot of different problems. You know, pa diabetic patients that are smokers, they're not taking care of their feet, they're not exercising, their blood sugars are running high. I mean, there's a vast majority of problems they can run into. Can this stop the progression of poor circulation? Absolutely, it'll help improve circulation as long as you're using the device. Right. And the effects last up to six months to a year. But uh, you're- So if it's helping, keep in mind, you'll probably have to continue forever. Right. But just not necessarily as often, is that how it works? Correct, the patients will come in for three, four weeks, they'll feel better, six months, a year down the road, we'll reevaluate them, and they might need another session. That's fantastic, thank you it's so much. It's a great much. device. Yeah, it's MicroVaz, and we have more details about it on news12.com. We actually have a link to the company. Thanks so much. Next on 12 on Health, help for your heart. Before it's too late, how one local hospital is heart set on getting patients life-saving treatment faster than before. You're watching 12 on Health. Now, Vice President Dick Cheney's recent blood clot has raised awareness about how important it is for heart problems to get treated quickly. And one local hospital is taking steps to make sure they don't miss a beat. Danbury Hospital boasts that it has one of the best door to balloon times. And that's the time between a person experiencing a heart related symptom and receiving treatment. Here to explain is Dr. Hal Wasserman and Dr. Wasserman, the Director of Interventional Cardiology.